what's happening it's your friend Ali Art Perla Woods the whole thing with many names or you could call me Aliana you could call me Ali you could call me Perla whichever one floats your boat or is your cup of tea thank you for joining me on my channel Perla's Playhouse where I take you on the many life journeys and adventures of my life as an artist so today is saturday it's my first saturday in baltimore and uh, let me get comfy i have absolutely no idea what i want to do today <laughs> i woke up pretty early and then i went back to sleep took a little nap and now i'm back up and i honestly really don't know what i want to do like let's check the weather it's 47 degrees right now it's still a little too cold for me yeah it's still a little too cold for me i'm cold right now i'm i'm like freezing i'm always cold i like keeping a heater and i gotta stay cozy i kind of want to get into nature but it's just too cold. I could go create something, but I kind of don't feel like it. <laughs> I honestly feel like I might just get on my computer and edit some stuff, work on some videos, work on my book. I have so many projects, like, I'm working on but somebody like me I have to work on multiple things at once cuz I get distracted I get bored or I procrastinate that's the biggest thing is that I procrastinate so, it hasn't been a full week yet since I've been in Baltimore, but this past ongoing week has been, has been good. I've really just been getting settled in. I haven't really done too much. I have had some interesting tribulations. <laughs> I feel you know usually I have like very deep thoughts y'all know I be having like hella revelations but since being here I've just been in the air <laughs> I've just been flowing and floating. Like. You know. One thing I do need to get back in touch with is eating better and regularly. Since I've been out here, I haven't been eating good and regular like from traveling from home back to Pennsylvania and then moving I probably went like five days without really eating a meal like I was just going throughout the day eating snacks and I'm kind of still on that wave so I need to get back to eating a meal I was about to say, maybe that's what I'll do today, but I don't know. Um, I will say something that's been on my mind is something that's always on my mind. Love and relationships. And, you know, I go back and forth on what I want. Today, I want one person. <clears throat> 
I had to be real with myself. If love is something that I think about all the time and I think about having like one true love, then I don't know why I try to sway my mind and my beliefs about what I really want. Like, this is something that I feel like can is not good for me and my soul is to not have a firm belief about something that's important in my life. And I'm a Le Ooh, excuse me. I'm a Libra, so I'm hella indecisive. So I go back and forth, you know. I go back and forth a lot about a lot of my decisions and beliefs because I really like to map things out over the course of <laughs> eternity and how would it really play out in my life and whether it's going to be the right decision whether I'm going to be happy with it and you know the whole nine yards and if you're a Libra, you know, you could probably relate. If you're an artist, you can probably relate. But, you know, the, the one thing that stops me from wanting to be in a relationship is the fact that I feel like my freedom is going to be taken away. And that's just something that I won't accept that I, I don't want to happen so the thought of that will lead me to saying and believing that I don't want a partner I want multiple partners because if I'm gonna have one partner like I still want the freedom to explore I mean not explore I mean kind of explore but I want the freedom to <clears throat> One second. I feel like I was definitely interrupted on I was interrupted for a reason from talking about <laughs> my ideas about love and relationships but I'm just gonna end off with, I am choosing to focus on myself right now. While I'm single, while I have the opportunity, you know, there's a few things that I really want to work on before I get in a relationship and that's pretty much my finances and my physical body and it's not for a relationship but it's for me to just have a better foundation for myself like I want to be I want to make it a habit to you know be working out every day doing yoga I need these things to be a habit before I get in a relationship because, you know, sometimes relationships distract you from yourself. And I do want a true love, one true love. And the person that I end up with, I want to be with somebody who is going to allow me the freedom to enjoy my friendships, explore connections, and not distract me from me and my life and what I'm trying to do with myself. What I'm trying to do with my life. <clears throat> and I plan to be that same thing for my partner. So... We shall see how it goes. And if I meet somebody who's worth 
me investing in. Of course, y'all will be on the journey with me.